What's good, you warriors? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling great too. We're going to go straight into it. I'm talking about E3 2014. My predictions. It's not going to be about the consoles. Xbox One, PS4, they already got blown up last year. It's all going to be all about the games and what they can do for the gamers. I hate it, but exclusive titles is what's going to reign supreme in this console generation. Symbolism for this video. Yep, you know what it is already. My first prediction, I hope. Platinum Games works with Microsoft. That's what my hope is. Microsoft want to be accepted in Japan, right? They want to make new IPs. Why not do an IP, something new, with Platinum Games? They make Bayonetta, Vanquish, Anarchy Reigns, and Wonderful 101. Absolutely, and Bayonetta 2. Absolutely incredible game. Speaking of Wonderful 101, very, very underrated game. Incredible game. Which was massacred by the um, gaming media, the gaming press. Massacred. If you go to... BOOM! Right there. Go to this man's channel. Saw. The revolutionary in action, stylish action games. Absolutely incredible YouTube channel. Where he breaks down video games like Bayonetta. Beautiful Joe. Wonderful 101. All the stylish action games. When you see a game that is gold. And you want it to turn into diamonds and magic. Go to his channel. Absolutely incredible work ethic. He appears as a genius, but it's all hard work. And he puts in a lot of hard work because he wants a better video gaming community. A, a game where video games is creative and innovative and rich and diverse with genres, intellectual genres, not brain dead genres like Quantum Break, like Call of Duty, like Battlefield, like this. Um, the Order 1886 and all that garbage where you go forward, have a cutscene, meet a new enemy, fight him, kill him, have your friends talk to you on the battlefield, keep going, going get a set piece, get a new cutscene, get a new weapon, have a comrade die, gain a new comrade, meet a new enemy, have a long winded story that doesn't mean anything, have another set piece, a new cutscene, fight a new enemies, have a new interactive movie. X to stab him, triangle to shoot him, circle to restrain him, go through, have another cutscene, have a new set piece, repeat set pattern for another 12 or 16 hours of pointless um, passive entertainment, the end. Where's my case? Rubbish. No resistance. Nothing to learn. Nothing to enjoy. Just go straight forward with brain dead simplicity. That's not gaming. That's not gaming, man. So, if you want to see proper games and embrace change, check out Sorin's channel. Absolutely incredible channel with good work. Um, what else I want to talk about? E3. I want to talk about, I hope Bayonetta 2 is there. Look, Nintendo, the Wii U, you've got Mario Kart now, Mario Kart 8. Yeah, you've got Wonderful 101. You've got Smash Brothers coming out. Release Bayonetta 2. Release her. Let the woman. Let her weave. Let her re let release her weave. Let her weave go. Stop holding her back. The girl is good. Let her cook. Let her cook. Love you, Bayonetta. Bayonetta 2. Gonna be an incredible game. And Saw is probably going to cover cover that video, that um, game. So please be sure to check out and subscribe to him. I'm gonna put the link for his channel down there. That's what I feel about Platinum Games at E3. I hope they do Metal Gear Rising 2 as well. That would be amazing, astounding actually. So until my next video, which is going to be over the E3 weekend, take care, smile, don't eat too much, live fabulously. Okay guys, until my next video, take care.